Today marks J.Dot's birthday and that's J.Dot from Hamilton. So I thought, you know what, let's go back and review his case. So Jeremy Melange was only 17 years old. He also went by the name of J.Dot and was also part of Hamilton. He had been set up by 18 year old Sana Ibrahim and even in death, he had no idea his friend was behind the attack. Now J.Dot had actually been brought over to the UK from Congo Republic in 2004 for a better education, better prospects, for a better life, and he mostly applied the opportunities given to him by being a straight-A student. So Jeremy Melange, aka J.Dot, lost his life on January 6th, 2015. 18-year-old Sana Ibrahim laid the trap. What she did was pretend to be everything Jeremy would want in a female friend, someone who was fun, understanding, looked out for him, and companionship. Little did Jeremy Melange know was on the night of January 6th, she accompanied J. Dot, aka Jeremy, and a mate from Swindon to London by train. Now while travelling, this witch had placed 36 calls and then text messages to Tarek Williams and Trey Morgan, known as Psycho and Trey. Now J. Dot and Psycho and Trey weren't known to each other, they had no beef, so this was an unprovoked attack. Now the plan was the two teenagers and a 14 year old boy would ambush Jadot and his friend at the Hackney Central train station at 11pm on that evening. Again, as I said, an unprovoked attack. Now despite what people may think, Jadot was a good teenager. He had good grades and always attended school. He came from a loving family. He had a good support system. Now once Jeremy and his mate and Sana reached the destination, the Hackney train station, they were set upon by a group of teenagers. Now J. Dot actually managed to get away. Now this was their first attack. Now even though a group of teenagers tried to end his life, he had no clue that Sana was involved. So once J. Dot was attacked for the first time and then escaped, Sana met with Trey and Psycho to plan a second attack. Her role, of course, was that of an inside woman. Now for over 30 minutes, Tarek Williams and Trey Morgan and Sana had searched Hackney looking for J.Dot and his mate Pops. Now Sana ended up meeting back up with J.Dot and his mate. And then the attackers caught J.Dot near Hamilton High Street. The attack was sudden and it was terrifying. J.Dot was stabbed three times in the chest and one of the wounds was so bad that it went through the ribs and pierced the heart. Now when Sana was arrested, the compulsive liar claimed that J.Dot was trying to rob her and she only called Trey and Psycho for assistance because she was scared. She essentially was a victim. She then placed all the blame on her co-defendants, telling the police that she seen the gang throw the knife in a canal. Now Sana was jailed for 14 years. Trey was jailed for 16 years and banned from Hackney. A 14-year-old boy was jailed for 12 years, and Psycho was jailed for 18 years. Again, they took someone's life for no apparent reason. There was no beef, no issues, no social media arguments. They did it simply because they thought they had the right to. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.